Here's a little explanation of how to use uh, cross picking or maybe where I use it. It has pretty limited use in um, in Irish tunes. So the odd time I would use it would be in a tune, say like Banish uh, Misfortune. As a variation on one of the parts, you could play a repeated cross picking pattern. Uh, I'll play it for you just so that you can hear it. And then maybe, you know, to just to say that it doesn't, it doesn't really fit in with Irish music uh, that well in, in that sense. It's just something that you could use as a variation for one round of the tune. So uh, this is Banish Misfortune. Um, So you can see that instead of the second part, we're using a cross pick pattern across the chords of that part. So that's probably one of the only places that I can think where I'd use cross-picking in Irish music. Um, mostly I use it as a way to accompany or to, well, really to add colour and texture to songs or to slower pieces. Um, so I'm tuned right now in A, A, A D, A, E. Slightly out of tune, but in that framework, right? And so you can cross-pick in this key. And essentially that high E at the top is, it's like that repeated um, fifth string on a five string banjo. So basically what you're doing is whatever the chords are, are of the tune or the song that you're playing, you're going to match those, but with that rolling either open E on the top or sometimes throw a high A on as well. So I would use this for, let's say, the Wee Banjo 3 song, uh, Light in the Sky. Uh, because that's really fast, uh, I'm, it's too fast to cross pick in this down, up, up, down style. So I do a, ver a, ver a variation on it, which is... It's kind of down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's not probably as uh, akin to what five string banjo is doing because of it's it's a different pattern to I guess what would be approximately what they call a front roll. But because of the double up 
pattern that I do down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. That has a limit uh, of uh, the speed that, I, that I'm able to play it at. Uh, so I refer, or, or <clears throat> I'll change it up into that other pattern because it's much easier to play that pattern at speed. <laughs> So that's in the key of A. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tune to open D tuning. So I'm going to tune my E string down to a D string. And then essentially I have A, D, A, D, which is also a form of bazooki tuning. This tuning offers a lot more textural quality because of the open tuning. Because there's loads of uh, kind of collar and uh, chordal texture that you can add to whatever it is you're playing. I'm just kind of doodling now, but it's, uh, it's a very nice thing to do. Haven, then because that's in uh, three, four, or six, eight, it's a slightly different cross pick. Essentially, it's the same down, up, up, down, up, up, and it doesn't have the reset of down, up at the end. So when I'm playing in in real rhythm or in four, four, it'd be down, up, up, down, up, up, and then a reset of down, up. So that's. A When you're playing in 6-8 in or in 3-4, you don't need the reset of the down-up. So it's just a constant roll of down-up, up, down-up, up, down-up, up, down-up, up. Even I'm confusing myself right now. This is from the Wee Band of Three song Haven, it's in the key, well it's in E, I'm playing it in D right now, but just to give you an idea of what I do when I'm doing that, it's a... Of that in the six eight, the da 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 da, da. it's a lot easier to keep it uh, to keep it going. So another song that we do, we band three is uh, Little Eliza Jane. So this will just show you what I what I do on Little Eliza Jane. So it's a combination of playing the melody 
And when you add in the guitar and the mandolin and chops and, and the fiddle, the whole thing kind of blends together. Um, and so there's part of it where I will do just repeated cross pick just to add that color behind it. And then there's times when I'll play the melody. So here we go. fast uh, that makes it quite hard to get if you go to get into the full cross picking to do that I really have to concentrate but what I'm doing there is kind of like it's it's a little it's a kind of an approximation of claw hammer uh, with and, and creating color and texture with the hammer-ons like flailing banjo so there's a whole load of different textures and sounds and colors that you can create and I suppose the least useful perhaps is in full-on Irish playing apart from in jigs I find it easiest to throw it in as a little bit of again just kind of textural variation but uh, there's a ton of information there so if you have any questions feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them <laughs>